Open classroom can be anywhere. Inside. Outside. In a museum. In an art gallery. In the middle of town. Inside a temple. In the water. Outside of it. Learning can happen in crazy places. On a monument. At a roadside eatery. On a boat, on a plane, in an airport, in the air, on the ground, on sand, inside a spaceship, in space, in solitude. Fun and discovery can happen in the oddest places, while skating, while laughing, while reading, while writing, while exploring. While trekking, while baking, while skipping, while creating, while just chilling. The trips made with children by the modern classroom combines travel, fun, and experiential learning. These are trips that we've made with various schools, different age groups to various parts of the world. At the modern classroom, we truly believe that inside of this world burn technology. Anyway, we truly believe that the students, when taken outside the confines of a traditional classroom and are given one very important factor and that is exposure. Exposure helps children gain a greater perspective and it really enables the young creative mind to grow. And in an increasingly globalized world that we currently live in, international trips, research shows that international trips do a lot of benefit to children. It helps them understand culture, helps them adapt and most importantly with the help of confidence, it gives them open-mindedness and this is very important in today's day and age. As we design our programs, the key component is, like I said, exposure. But apart from that, we would like them to go outside their comfort zone. Now, the way the human mind functions is that it is resistant to change. Now, with these programs, what are we trying to do? Why go on an international program? When there's so much to see in India, you can do a day program, why international? And the more, most important reason for that is that we want the children to go outside their comfort zone, understand cultures and mix. And all of us somewhere down have this feeling of wow. When I look at the United States of America, wow. When I go to Europe, wow. We want to remove the wow out of children. Because the minute you are no longer wowed about it, you start to think about it and you start to improvise and you start to do things which you would otherwise not do. So, the itinerary that we've put together, all the places that we are visiting, there are two values to it. There's an extrinsic value. Of course, you'll go to the Eiffel Tower, you'll climb it, you'll do all of that. But what we are looking at building is intrinsic value. Things which are otherwise not shown to children from their perspective. So let me quickly now run past the itinerary and explain to you all the method behind our madness. And then we will cover all the other points. And once you we finish that, we will open up the questions and answers. So we start our journey. And in a country called Germany. But before that, we need to get to Germany. And how are we flying? We intend to use the Gulf carriers always. Our preferred partners, Etihad, Emirates, Qatar, Oman. Because the Gulf Airways, Gulf carriers in general have been very nice to children. They really know how to take care of children, especially on these long haul flights. And the learning begins from there. 
So for instance, I'm sure as parents, you all have traveled with your children, but on those tours, 99% of the time, the children are on holiday, which means it's the parent's responsibility to ensure the bags are checked in. It's the parent's responsibility to ensure the passport is in place, the boarding cards are with you, what to say at immigration, he does the talking, all of this. Now, when we are on this trip, keeping in our uh, learning perspective of social and emotional learning, the learning begins from there. The student is forced to think independently and also with his group. So we will take any of these carriers. Hopefully we are trying to take the Emirates aircraft because Emirates now operates the A380 out of Bangalore and also from uh, Dubai. So then children will get to experience one of the largest passenger carriers in the world. Once we reach Germany, we are in Germany for approximately about two nights. And there are two very important elements where we said, yes, this can be very, very important for children. The first place we are going has a little bit of grim history. I'm sure all of you all have heard about Hitler. Not the best human being. Then why take your children to see what Hitler did in his concentration camps? Are we trying to glorify the gentleman? Absolutely not. Then why go there? The reason we are going there is we want to teach children two very important values. The first thing is that oppression is not a good thing. And we will, with the help of our tour directors and our educators in these countries, bring that out very beautifully to the respective children. The second thing that we want to impart to our children, and which is also I feel very important today's day and age to succeed, is the value of empathy. If you can be empathetic towards another human being, that will definitely take you a long way. Because today the way we define success is how much you have, how much you own, how much you possess. But times are changing. Another very important thing that we need to teach our children is how much do you contribute? How much do you give? So through this visit, this is what we would like to bring about. And of course, the history of it will also be explained to them. We will continue our journey in Munich. We will cover all the important tourist highlights. But then we go to another very important place. The BMW Welt. Now the reason we are going to the BMW Welt is because of relatability. All students, when we did our presentation here, whoever I asked if they knew what BMW was, everyone knew what BMW was. There was this very funny study that they did. Millennials today are watching Netflix on 2x speed because they don't have the patience to go through the drama. Now, if this is the amount of patience which is in our children, success comes over a period of time. And that's how we are going to explain it to children at BMW. Now, you must be wondering how. BMW has very rich history. They started as nobody and they have become one of the finest automotive brands in the world. The second thing we want to teach children is, you know, when the minute you hit success, the first car, if you can afford to buy, will either be a BMW, Audi or a Mercedes, maybe now the Jaguar, Land Rover, etc, etc. No one says, I want to buy a Mahindra because it's not the ultimate. But a few years down the line, I think we will also have brands like this. And it is these children who will create. Earlier, opportunity was not there. Today, there's a lot of opportunity. And the idea is to inspire. I'll give you a small example. And this is something that has happened over the course of the last 10 years that we've been working with kids. Last week, I got a call from one of the students who did two trips with us. One was to the Jaguar Land Rover plant in Birmingham and also to the BMW Welt. So this guy calls me, Arman, and he says, Yasin Bhai, I have to book two tickets for Salt Lake City. 
I need to book two tickets to Salt Lake City. So I said, okay, what happened? Your, you found a girl to get married? So soon? So he's like, nice, sir. I've just got accepted for a six month internship into Tesla. And I want to bring my parents so that they can come and spend three months with me. That was something which was very inspiring. Because this kid, no matter what you said, he always understood one thing, horsepower. And when he went inside BMW Jaguar Land Rover showroom, where we showed them from sheet metal to the complete production of the car, something struck. And he was just very passionate about that. I have a lot of these examples which I can share, but let's continue. When did it start? How many years of persistence? What were their failures? And how are they successful today? Time. You need persistency and it takes time. And we need to explain this to our children. That's why BMW. And if there's anything else that they will get back from BMW is not them coming back and pestering you for the car. But we'll try and inspire them to come back, be so successful in life and inshallah one day they will buy that car for you. That's the perspective that we're looking for our children. We continue our journey to another beautiful country which is Austria. And in Austria, of course, to maintain relativity, we use a lot of Bollywood movies that have been shot there. We'll play those songs, we'll, we'll get them to understand how movies are shot here and why they come here, etc. But again, our education highlight there is the Swarovski Crystal Museum. The sheer brilliance of the place in terms of the installations that are there is awe-inspiring. But what is the take back? How do they make stone so valuable? So there is art to it. And then there is a lot more that goes into that. And that's why today they are where they are. You know, another very important thing that we've noticed is American companies, European companies know how to start a business, grow that business and scale that business globally. That's something that all of them do. Like if you take everything that we use today, from the morning till the night, there are at least 20 to 30 things which are either manufactured, distributed, or promoted by an American or a European company. So we want them to understand that, listen, if they can do it, so can we. But how are they doing it? Spark. We just want to give them that spark. From here, we continue our journey to one of the most postcard defining uh, countries in the world, Switzerland. A lot of us know Switzerland because of Yashraj and Diwali Dulhanya Le Jayenge. So we are going to keep that there and we are going up firstly to Mount Titlis on an ice chair. Now why go up to Mount Titlis? Firstly because if you go to Agra, you must see the Taj Mahal. Likewise, when you go to Switzerland and if you don't visit the mountain tops, it's an incomplete thing. But what are they seeing up there? Is it just fun? Of course, there is a lot of fun. But we are trying to explain to them the ecological impact of what you do and what results. So this is what is our main focus. We are going to explain to them how Switzerland as a country has maintained that ecological balance over thousands of years and how it's important for them as a country to maintain that for the future as well. From here, we will go down to Lucerne. Lucerne has very his uh, rich architectural history and we have a few games up our sleeves to make sure that kids are a little involved and enjoy themselves there. And from here, we will also visit the Lindt Chocolate Factory. Big hit with kids, but why? Again, from bean to chocolate, the entire process, how is that chocolate made? How is it then marketed? And why is it such a big brand today? So when they're involved, they're getting their hands dirty, eating the chocolate, they're having fun because that's what's keeping them interested. But subconsciously, they are learning a lot more. Now, once we finish um, 
this place, we will then head to the Black Forest. Now, why the Black Forest again? Firstly, because it's very unique in terms of the location. It also is where the Black Forest cake comes from. But the Black Forest cake there is very different from the sweet cherry Black Forest we get here. Why did it become so famous? The children are going to learn. And there's something which is very unique to this region. It's the cuckoo clocks. Now the cuckoo clocks are manufactured only in the Black Forest region. It's an interesting fact. There are only three families who know how to make these and these three families to maintain their monopoly marry amongst themselves to ensure that the wealth is not leaked out. But we do a behind the scenes at this venue and behind the scenes they will understand the engineering that goes behind it, what they do for the cuckoo to come out and strike every 15, 20, 30 minutes as per your will. From here, we will continue our journey to the city of lights, which is Paris. And in Paris, we are visiting two very important places. And apart from that time permitting, we will do a lot of other activities with our children on the streets. I'll give you an example. Firstly, we are going to the Eiffel Tower. It's a, one of the wonders of the world. Why is it a wonder of the world? Who built it? What was the purpose of it? Do you know it was not even supposed to be a permanent structure? It was erected for a particular purpose. And once the exhibition, world exhibition was done, it was supposed to be taken off. But what makes Eiffel Tower, Eiffel Tower? That is something that the children are going to learn. And when they go up, they get to experience views, of course, of the city. We will continue our city tour and during the tour, we will also visit the Seine River Cruise. Now, when they are on the Seine River Cruise, they go past many architectural and historically important buildings where Art or directors there will explain to them why they are and where they are. Once we've completed this, we will then fly back to Bangalore. The hotels that we generally stay in are branded property chains. We don't do dormitories, we don't do you know things which are not known to us because all these hotels come with a certain credibility and certain standards, which is then very easy for the children to relate to. And it's, it's just very comfortable. During the course of our tour, they will immerse with local cultures. So we will have local meals, but we will also have an Indian meal. No matter how cool the kid is, no matter how much they say, Sir, what's wrong with you, sir? Who eats dal and chawal in London, sir? Doesn't matter. When you give them that one Indian meal, you should see the meat. It is the most sumptuous meal and they are back to comfort zone. So we will do local meals, of course, we will do baguettes, we will do macaroons, pizzas, schnitzels, etc, etc. But we will always do a good combination of both so that children are not hungry. At the hotels, we will be three sharing a room. And uh, from here, now what's included and what's excluded? during our trip. The Schengen visa fee is included, all our flights are included, travel insurances are included, our stays are included, meals are included, entrances to all these important destinations that we discussed, all of this is included in our program. A tour director who will lead the group is also included, of course we will have one teacher from the institution as well. What's not included because a lot of people are like, yeah, we know what's there, Can please tell me what's not there. So this is what's not there. Let I'll be very clear about it. Firstly, a passport fee. We're assuming all children have passports. If they don't have a passport, that's perfectly fine. They can get it renewed under Tatkal. And we still have time for that. But the cost of a new passport is not included. Any personal expenses. Generally, when we go to all these places, we see children may want to buy something, shop for something. So those personal expenses are not included. Um, we've had a few children who've come and said, listen, sir, can I get an upgrade to business class from economy class? No, you cannot. That defeats the purpose. But we've had schools where you've had parents who've said, listen, no, no, I want my child to buy business class. So in that case, that cost is not included. That's something that you'll have to pay additionally. We ensure that 
we have all our breakfast lunch dinners as groups but even after that when they come back to their room and if they order any room service then that is not included that's something that they may have to pay however what we do on all our tours is we empty out all the mini bars in all the hotels we ensure that there is nothing in the mini bar no chips you know no chocolates none of those there so then there is no issue of consumption and no injury um any additional sightseeing activities outside the uh, itinerary this is very important excess baggage charges so we will tell you before we depart for the airline that we are flying what is the baggage allowance and we will hope that all of you all stick to that but sometimes a lot of these children who travel especially to the us they have more family there than here so when they go from here they go empty but when they come back they come with additional two suitcases and then they'll they probably request us can you adjust it in somebody else's name and we don't want to do that because we don't know what's inside that suitcase so in that case that is something that is not included let's talk about the most important thing the reason all of you all have come here the first and most important thing that we have done to ensure all our trips are as safe and secure as possible is that it is mandatory when we apply for the visa and for every 15 children traveling there is one faculty member from the institution who is going along taj ma'am spoke to you all before we began she was one of them who came with us to the us the principal ma'am and the management will decide who the teacher is and generally the teacher depending on the age of the students so if we've got a batch full of 6th grade students then a teacher who's from the 6th grade who knows the children well who is relate who can relate to them really well she be on board and when she comes it's not a holiday for her there is work to be done the most important role of a teacher on our tour is the safe keeping of the passports we trust our children but we don't trust them so much right we had many such situations so the teacher's responsibility is the passports and apart from that because it takes us a little while to break ice with these children two three down the uh, days down the line into the trip we will know more about the children than the teacher will know because we speak their language and that's what we do best but for anything in terms of point of communication to relay back to you exactly what is happening on a day to day basis if the child is facing any difficulty if he is uncomfortable with anything if he needs anything and most importantly when we travel we ensure that we take a medical declaration from all parents to understand if the child has any pre existing conditions that we need to be careful about simple things like asthma anything that has to be taken every day on a regular basis all of this the teacher and the tour director are well informed about and will ensure that we carry those medicines and ensure that it has been administered as and when required the next most important thing is the comprehensive travel insurance now this is something that we have built in association with our insurance company over the last 10 years our travel insurance is so comprehensive that i hope we never have to use it but if in case of a severe emergency even facilities such as airlift are included it's that comprehensive we were i'm actually quite proud of it we were one of the only companies when covid hit in 2019 2020 sorry we had about 750 students confirmed to the united states of america we had taken 50% deposits from parents and those deposits were with the airline and with respective hotels in different countries when covid hit we assumed it might take no more than 2 months 3 months 4 months but it just went on and on we had underwritten an insurance where it was very specifically worded in case of a lockdown the entire insurance is covered but at that point of time the insurance companies had claims in thousands of crores 
so they washed their hands off they said no 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 it's not included etc etc but that's the beauty of law we approached the ombudsman which is the insurance ombudsman he reviewed the case and all our parents at least most of our parents who have applied have been instructed by the insurance company by the ombudsman to make that refund so those refunds actually came back to the parents did it take time yes how long to this because everything was shut down but it came back so that's why we built that insurance it takes care of everything in process at the airport in case of delay loss of package delay in package reaching us all these problems that we have faced when we traveled with thousands of students over the past 10 years we come back and we try and cooperate with which is why our insurance premium if policy bazaar might give you an insurance at 1000 2000 our insurance is about 6 and a half cent because it covers so much more coming to the next point safety protocols so we've been doing this in many years now and in all of these destinations we are more like vendors ourselves so how a traditional company works is they contact another travel agent and then that travel agent makes arrangements for them you know because we've been there so many times we have direct relationships with the bus operators with the hoteliers restaurants we know them all so we have a much better control in terms of safety and security and if you even look at the hotels we choose they are generally a little outskirts because even if the child at night wants to come out and explore there's nothing there to explore so we might as well go back to the room so we've done our checks we know what we are doing and that's why we are here right because of that the most important thing is to our directors on this tour someone who's seen this destination more than 5 10 times and someone who can show it to the child from a child's perspective and these guys know it all in terms of how to handle crisis because that's the most important thing we've had cases when we were flying from orlando to washington dc and for some reason airport security shut down we had 25 kids with the teachers on the flight and 25 stuck in security the tour director knows exactly what to do and these guys are very very competent with them hopefully depending on the final number of students going on every departure we also try and carry with us a photographer or a videographer on tour Now, this photographer and videographer will take photographs every day and put them up so that all you parents can also virtually travel with them and see what your kids are doing okay next and the terms and conditions are very simple we want to be very honest and upfront to you and say we own none of these services the bus is not owned by us the hotels are not owned by us you know the airlines are not owned by us we just we just someone who provides the service in between and which is why it's very important for children to respect certain laws now when we are here there will be certain rules and regulations which is also incidentally a part of our social and emotional learning that have to be respected and if you don't then there may be a fine and every place will have these rules and regulations we will tell them but it's for them to follow so that's something that we want to be very clear about so if in there in the room and they decide to play football and if they break something then has to be borne by them We've had children who've put kids inside suitcases and played rolling, rolling, and gone into the wall, hole in the wall. Because in the US or Europe, they don't use they use gypsum as as wall, right? So it breaks easily. So these things happen. So we will, of course, inform them, educate them, but it's for them to follow the law. Next, coming to the document checklist for a Schengen visa, because we are going to a Schengen country. we need a schengen visa and for it the following documents are required let me quickly run past them you need to have a passport which is valid at least for 6 months from the date of our return so in this case any passport that expires before the 20th or 30th of uh, april sorry but 30th of april needs to renew their passport if there is travel history they must have their old passports to prove that they are well traveled passport copies of both parents uh, let the photographs as per specification bank statements of the parents for 6 months which has to be attested 
which means just a printout will not work. It has to, there must be a sealed signature on it, and uh, with sufficient balance. Latest uh, three years IT returns, school bona fide certificate. Of course, we will take uh, proof of occupation from the parent. So if you are running a business, then your business proof. If you are employed, then the salary certificate. No objection certificate from both the parents and any other supporting financial documents that you may provide. Now, after we've submitted this. We'll be doing this in a group. So the embassy already knows. Now we're just waiting to see which embassy we will apply to. The students will be taken to the VFS. Biometrics will happen for children. And once it is done, we will be applying as a group. So maybe in a day 50, 50, I think about 45 to 50 students a day will apply. And we will then get the passports. Now all these visas generally are stamped with an annotation. What is the annotation? The annotation will very clearly state that whoever the teacher is traveling on board, her passport number will be on that visa. And they'll say this child can enter the country only if this teacher or this store director is on board. Without them, they will not be allowed to enter. So that is something that we would like to bring to your attention as well. Coming to the investment. Now let me tell you why I call it an investment and not a cost. Because cost at the end of the day gives you nothing back. This is an investment in your child's future. And to keep that in mind, we've further made a few changes to make it a little bit easier for the parents. You understand schools have just opened, there's a fee, etc. that you may have paid. But we are fighting two challenges here. The government of India has decided to increase TCS from 5% to 20% from the 1st of July. And we are trying to beat that. So if we are able to collect our first installment and pay 5% TCS to the government, before that, then we will save 15% on TCS. Which is why we have broken our installments down into three installments. The first installment is 31,250, where 25,000 is the actual amount that we will receive, and 5%, which is 6250, this amount will be paid to the government of India against your PAN, and you will be issued a TCS certificate, which means when you file your income tax returns, that entire amount of 6250 is claimable back. A month later, we will require the second installment, which is another lakh rupees, so that we can then make arrangements and make payments to respective parties. And once the visa has been granted, the third and final installment, which is in the 1st of September. Now, in terms of the cancellation policy, there is a non-refundable deposit of 25,000 because the minute we receive the money, we need to pay for the visa, we need to block off the flight tickets. The airlines have started to function very differently today after COVID. Generally, if anyone is in business, especially in wholesale business, the more you buy, the cheaper it gets. But with the airline, the more you buy, the more expensive it gets. I have, my ma'am has a very quest question. Inquisitive look on her face. Let me explain to you. So for an aircraft to fly from say Bangalore to Bombay, including what you need to pay to the to the government, the fuel, uh, parking charges, air hostesses, pilots, etc., is approximately five to eight lakh rupees for it to take off and land once. They need to recover that cost from 170 seats. So that's why they practice something known as differential pricing, where the first 10 seats are at 3,500. The minute those are sold, 5,500. Sold, 6,500. And that's why. When you take flights well in advance, they're a little cheaper and closer to the date of travel, they're more expensive. So their job is to cover the 8 lakhs plus profit from that journey. So the more I buy, the more expensive it becomes. And that's why what we're doing is I think all the Delhi public schools put together, we have about 170 registrations so far. And guessing we may have a few dropouts because of dates. Because the 12th graders have their pre boards starting in the month of November and we are not sure what that date might fall into. So we intend to 
take three departures. Each departure will have 45 students, three teachers, one tour director and one photographer on board. So each departure is 50 passengers, no more than 50 passengers. And we may do that in multiples of batches. So on day one, we'll have a departure. Day two, we'll have a departure. Day three, we may have another departure. Also, what we might do is we may reverse the itinerary. If someone has date constraints, instead of landing into Munich and flying out of Paris, none of the experiences will be compromised. But the difference would be we'll land into Paris and fly out of Munich. Apart from this, uh, parents, I just like to add one very important point is that I understand as parents, you all may have certain doubts, certain fears, wish you all the way so far in an aeroplane alone, my child, I understand. But that's how our mind is designed to function. The mind hates doing anything new, it instills fear and loves to keep you in your comfort zone. Which is why we believe that in order to grow in life, you have to make a commitment, you have to be consistent about it, get outside that comfort zone, so that if you don't do that, you will be sitting in that comfort zone and you will continue to be there. Now I understand that you may have a lot of other concerns, and of course, there is a financial aspect to it as well. But if you see value in what we are trying to create by giving exposure to your child to so many different things, he can become a chef because of the culinary things that he sees. He can be an engineer in future. He can do so many different things. They are willing to go out and look and see. It doesn't interest me. That's why I want to do something different. Look at all the startups that have started in our, in our city, for example. All of them are young and they're so focused about finding a problem and solving it. But how do you find the problem? What is the problem? That's where we want to take children out and show them possibilities, expose them to cultures so that they can be a lot more confident. And once they come back, they'll imbibe little by little, little by little, little by little. And invariably, when they are ready for life, they'll be a lot more confident than positive. I think I have uh, more or less completed all that I had to say. If you lovely parents would have any questions right now, please feel free to ask. Yeah, so all we'll do is when he makes the second payment installment, you will reduce 11,000 from 1 lakh and make the payment of only 89,000 plus. Absolutely, no problem at all. Vegetarian, Jains, we've taken care of uh, everyone, halal, all of that is taken care of. It goes by default. You just need to make sure we are well informed. That's see, vegetarian is not a problem at all. If he's a Jain, please inform us because we need to make special arrangements for the Jains. So that's taken care of. Yeah, that's how he has though a uh, o- OCI, right? OCI yeah, card, yeah, right? Yeah, OCI. because we need to carry an OCI card. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, that's a great question. So what we do mm-hmm. is before departure, when we do our student orientation program, we actually bring a service provider with us. Uh, generally, we know the I think the sales director of Matrix very well. So Gaurav comes here. And what he does is that specifically for children, for that duration of 10 days, we'll have a plan that also is not including the cost. I forgot to mention. And uh, you can give that to them. It's absolutely no problem. But now even your local providers, I think Airtel, etc., they have these roaming facilities. So we'll definitely require them to carry a mobile phone. But the use of it is going to be restricted. We carry all of that and and the tour director who comes along, he is first aid certified. Sure. So So any specific medication that needs to be carried, you give, but generic medicine is with us. Absolutely. No problem at all. But you just need to make sure that you are giving it with a prescription. Great. What we do is we have a pre-departure meet again. At least about 
I think a week, 10, 15 days before departure, we have a very exhaustive pre departure meet where we give you a complete checklist what to carry, what not to carry, how to behave, what to do, who's everything. So, all of that will be done during a pre departure meet. Thank you so much, and that's about it. Thank you. You're almost welcome. Right. Absolutely. So the only reason sir, we are not giving you which airline, which hotel right now. I mean, we tentatively know which, but we need to know the final numbers. So we've uh, completed our presentations with all the seven schools. So North, South, East, West, Electronic City, Mysore and School of India. We will know by Thursday what our final numbers are. And then when we do collect the first installment of 31,000 to 50, the first thing we'll do is we will block the hotels, we'll block the airlines, and, the, and then we'll know exactly what our departure dates are. The management and teachers will decide who is going on which departure because we want that learning experience to be fun. So if we have, say, sixth or seventh grade students in totality from three different institutions which make up about 45, we put them together. So that way they can mingle, they'll be like minded, and it will be a lot more fun for them. So that's what we'll do. And we will, by default, give you all the information. Correct. So what we're trying to do for the 12th grade, because they have the exams in November, we're trying to do a much earlier departure, which is maybe the first week of October. So when we do first week, second week of October, we we'll try and ensure that the weekend is also included in that, so they don't miss out too much. And once we have a final number of students, we'll be able to. Seventy have been done, right. but we are yet to bifurcate what grade it is. So that will happen in the next week itself. And uh, the school will also will decide which grade will go with whom. They will also work on that. So, so the program is open for 6th grade to 12th grade. Correct. So 6th, 7th, 8th is one club. 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th is generally one club. So we may have a departure if we've got too many 8th and 9th, we'll just be 8th and 9th. But 6, 7, 8th is one group that we put together. 9, 10, 11, 12 is another group that we put together. So there's this one company who's come out now. And it's a beautiful system that they have created. I myself have used it last month. So it's a prepaid card. But the difference is, if you buy a multi-currency card, you have to load dollars, which means TCS is applicable. What these guys do is they give you a card, it's a debit card and they create an account. You can then transfer INR into that account. Against that card, they will issue a credit card to you. That credit card can be carried by the child. Now the power of the credit card is in your hands, which means how much ever money you want to load onto it, you can load. How much he'll spend, you will decide. If in case you think, listen, I don't want him swiping my card, you can decide. When he swipes, I want him to use a pin, you can decide. And if the card gets lost, it's one button, card is blocked. So no money lost. So we would highly recommend all parents, please don't send cash, maybe 10 euros, 20 euros, just as pocket change for whatever. But we've had instances where kids have lost $100 bills and then the entire day is ruined of the child. Because he's more focused about where my money is versus this. So the neo cards, when we do our orientation, sir, we'll also pin my money on that. I don't think we have a lesser number of student issue right now. Your question is very valid, but through experience, this is what we've seen. And I'll tell you why we've seen this. We've taken a batch where we had six graders and we had 12 graders also. And this was again to the Kennedy Space Center. Now this entire group was presented with a challenge. They gave them the rules and said, now you please use your head and do this A in the most, in the fastest possible manner. B, it needs to be the strongest. These were the two instructions that they got. At the end of 30 minutes, the sixth grade students did far better than the 12th grade students. And we were very surprised. So one of the instructors who was there from the Kennedy Space Center, I asked him, hey, why? How are these kids who going to do? He said, you know, as you keep growing older in life, you become more rigid. So the 12th standard student was able to see it from one perspective. 
the sixth standard in a sense he said oh but i can do this so why can't we do this and it actually was better the point i'm trying to drive across is even if you have a, a scenario where sixth and eighth or ninth is together there are sufficient six standards on that board so you'll have five ten of them there and the people who communicate with them know what language to use what energy to use when talking to someone who's in sixth grade and when talking to someone who's in 12th grade so that rapport building skills with these people in europe is very good and uh, in terms of an experience it will not matter of course by default there will be a whatsapp group when we travel however the whatsapp group will be one way communication you will only receive information we will not let you respond because then it becomes another it becomes a separate call game all together but you will receive daily information from the teacher who is traveling the tour director will not interact with you because he does not know who you all are the tour director interacts with the children and the teacher on tour the, the photographer generally by the end of the day puts up all the images of everything that has happened on a online platform and those links are generally shared to you sometimes not the same day but maybe a day later depending on how early or late they are able to reach the hotel room for him to uh, make the entry yes this is exclusively for tps schools and school of india which is also under the same management again okay, so when you go to the mountain it's freezing but how do you prepare for that we'll explain to you is it something that is not bearable absolutely not we have done this with multiple students what's required is education before they travel what to wear what not to wear what to eat what not to eat and shall so with that it will be taken care of but we will ease you of that at the orientation so when we do the orientation you know exactly what the conditions are at that point of time so we'll be in a much better position to advise you and also we despite giving the free tour orientation for students and the parents and the teacher before the tour take off every day that evening tomorrow where are we going what to wear what to carry what should be there in the hands that will also be done because ultimately children they tend to forget so our duty to keep every day evening tomorrow what is the program what to carry what to wear so that will be taken care is costs yeah the other thing is this is a six month process because when you travel individually it's a lot faster and when you travel as a group it takes a lot longer for us to process the entire group as we are wherever we are going so we have to take approvals and especially after covid if you can check right now getting appointments for visas is a big challenge until i would say the end of july august but post august they are relatively in a better position to handle a group size of 170 180 students and also the intention of travel during october is during that dasara vacation so we try and avoid missing out on school and that way we are able to do all three we were able to get a preferred cost b gives us sufficient time to process the entire thing and third and most importantly vacation is there so we are clubbing back and then being able to ma'am i would like to add one more thing yeah uh, um as my colleague yasin was telling that we have been doing this program since 2015 and there are only two times the schools in india or especially the south india does it during dashara that is september october or a after the final exam that is march and april right so um, and having uh, october given the time for us we have done by the grace of the almighty many of the uh, trips of the school to uh, in the month of october to europe i believe you know on second fortnight of october what we are looking at so when i say restriction uh, restricted ma'am i imply social media mm -hmm. okay not calling because yeah. also what happens is we like the calling power to be in the hand of the child because sometimes when you may call firstly the difference in time and secondly they may be in an activity which 
does not permit them to receive the phone call at that point of time. So if they see a missed call, they must be able to call you. So the, the, the way the card is designed is it gives them the freedom and access to call. So restriction was on social media, not on calls. 45 students on each departure. Okay. Three teachers, two tour directors, 50 in total. So if you've got all those documents as we uh, mm -hmm. spoke about are in place, mm -hmm. the likelihood of the visa getting rejected is very weak. Mm -hmm. Correct. The reason being is because we would have paid that for the visa and we would have paid that also for the airline. And we'll know by Thursday. Oh, Thursday as in now? Coming Thursday. Thursday. Right, yeah, by Thursday we should know because that's when we're starting registrations. Mm -hmm. And we may extend it for a 2-3 days. I think mm -hmm. following week we should, we should know. Mm -hmm. Ma'am, that is one registration. The second registration is by making a payment before uh, 26th of this month. So, so that information will come to you. Once we have the final number and we've closed, we'll inform you. How to carry Absolutely. That with international roaming, absolutely. Perfect. Thanks. Please go ahead. The only disadvantage of the SIM card being local is sometimes when she has to make local calls internally and say if someone locally has to call her. Sometimes they are a little hesitant to call the child because it's an Indian number. But the minute it's a local number, it becomes very simple. But even that problem today, I think, is solved by WhatsApp. So WhatsApp calling works everywhere, and you have to go. Now coming to student segregation bifurcation. Now let's understand one thing: there are seven schools traveling: DPS North, South, East, West, School of India, etc. North students in totality are about 6,000 of which I think they have about 90 registrations. South has about 46 as of now. I think by the end of we will about 60 there. East has another 30. So all these grades will have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We will club various institution with the same age group. So then what happens is it becomes more in tune for a the teacher who's coming along and also the tour directors it makes their life simple because then their medium of communication is the same because the age group is similar so that's how we do that so at that point of time sir my prime concern is the safety of the child which means if i am missing that tour then i'm missing that there's nothing that I can do about it because that is something that is beyond my control. If there is an issue and someone says, no, you cannot go out, then that's unfortunate that we can't do anything about it. Yes, we'll continue. We'll try. We'll do the best we can. We've done things like this. We've had issues. You know, when you hand over your children to us, they are not, they will not be your children. They will be our children. We are their father, mother, brother, teacher. A to Z, whatever the child is, is us. Because you are here and they are with us. Whether they cry, they fall, they are happy, it is us. So if any situation happens, arises without, beyond my control or anybody's control, what is the best possible to safeguard my child? We will definitely do it. For me, tour is not important, my child is important at that particular time. And if it is safe to do, safe to go for another place, I will assess and then only I will do it. Otherwise, for me, nothing matters than my child's life. And number three, we also are under the supervision of the consulate because we write to them with all the information of my children. So these are the children that are coming. If any unforeseen situation arises, please protect us. Please, we need, we might need. We might come back to you for any assistance. The counselors also because I because any foreign country, you know, which is not in our control, we need to have backup situations. So the counselors are aware about it. The tourism boards are aware about it. We will be there by the grace of the Almighty. We will be doing what is best possible for my own child. It will be done for the children who come or any of us.
So, ma'am, we will need the passport earlier next month. So, you can do that. If that, in fact, we have a gentleman who can assist you, we, we can share a number. If you can do it, well and good. If you need any assistance, we'll be happy to help. We don't do night journeys. We only do morning journeys. And if you look at all the journey times, ma'am, the only long journey we've got is the day we are going from Switzerland to Paris. And even that day in the evening, to make sure that we've not just seen countryside, that night we've kept our illuminous store of Paris, which means in the night, now all these vehicles that are used, drivers are allowed 12 hours, 9 hours. They can only drive for so much time because you know when they punch in, it shows how much, how, for how long they've been driving. Because the day we reach Paris, he may extend by an hour, we don't want to take that chance. So we reach Paris, he goes to the hotel, another bus comes, picks us up and takes us to see the twinkling of the Eiffel Tower. Any other destination, if you look from Munich to Austria, we go in the morning and we again come back in the evening. It's a day tour to Austria and back. So again, the distance is two, two and a half hours, two, two and a half hours back. When we are going from there to Zurich, it's about four hours, four hours duration. Again, when we are going, we will have our stops, we will do our loop breaks. So all of that, where, in fact, it's so detailed that we even know where we want to be stopping. Yeah, so we can do that. So what you need to do is, depending on whoever the teacher is traveling, yeah. make a request to her. As long as you are not creating havoc in our lives <laughs> with your friend, yes. because that tend to happen. Yeah. When you've got two friends together, yeah. go for it. We have no problem. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, yes. No matter the phone is there for that reason only. The minute we know, also when we, it's not like a, a you know, when we go, supposing we are going into a mall, we are not going to police them in that mall. We will give them instructions, which means we will tell them where we currently stand. We will give them the map of the place. We will then give them, if in case you are lost, what you are going to do and where you are, what has to happen. So we give them instructions and we give them instructions very clearly. And when we are giving those instructions, we ensure that the student is present. That's something we are great at doing. And then wherever they are, you will get them back. Because if you, for example, when you go to a theme park, there is no way you are going to hold a child back and say, I, I want to do this ride, he wants to do that ride, I want to shop for this, he wants to shop for that. That freedom has to be given. But it's controlled freedom. And even at that point of time, the mall supervisor or wherever we are, we know exactly where what has happened. And then we give them a time. And generally the time we give them is 15-20 minutes before when we actually need to leave. So if there is a delay, we know teachers are here, these students here, who's come late, we know who's missing. We know how to get it done. I think one more important point on this. You know, whenever we go to a mall, we will not just let the children do what they want to do it. We go to the information desk. Uh, I will give them the map of the mall. And please decide in two minutes or five minutes what are the things you need to buy, how much money you have. Please plan because planning is half success already. So we will inculcate in the habit of planning shopping. Number one. Number two, I will be presenting the list of students to the security of that floor of that uh, mall because I want my the people of the mall to know that. So I will tell them this is the list of my children and I am the man to be contacted if anything goes right or wrong. If you need any assistance, please call us. We are here at this place. So that is the one way we also keep a watch on all of my children. And sometimes we make a batch like 10 or 5 and teacher goes with them. So that's how we take care of my children at all times. They won't be allowed to leave the hotel because the minute they get outside, the reception from down will call us. But in terms of when they are at the hotel, will they go from one room to another? Absolutely. And that's the freedom we have to allow them. And generally what we've seen is when you're out the whole day doing activities, 
can wait to hit that side. So generally we don't have too many challenges, but yes, on the last day, every hotel calls and threatened us, next time we are not giving you a hotel. Right? So even because they are running around playing having a meeting. And in the night, the teacher will do a surprise check. So we have not, yeah, yeah, so we don't have a theme park this time. The reason we didn't include Disneyland again was for two reasons. A it would increase the cost. Disneyland now is 150 euros to enter and that becomes expensive and it would require an additional day. The second thing is with that amount of time, we've done different places. Theme park per se, no, but when they're on titles, there are a lot of snow activities that we will do with the kids on top, weather permitting. So if that is there, they will have it. So it won't be a theme park, theme park experience, but it will be a little unique in terms of what they will be doing something a little different. Absolutely. Everything is fun. So the idea is come out, experience, learn, but it has to be fun. We'll get them to dance. You saw, I don't know if you've seen that video. Sense out of this world, but I know I can. So what we've written definitely is definitely there. there, but what we've not written, that as add-on when, you know, you'll see some surprise will be there. Right? Give us some opportunity to make you a little happier. Absolutely not. We don't allow it. We don't encourage it because it's, we've, we've done that and it's havoc. So we will not allow. They can come and meet the child. We don't want to be Hitler, we are saying bad things about them, right? So we want them, if you have to tell us well in advance who the person is, we need ID proof of those people who are going to come and meet. They can only come and meet them in the hotel. Another school, no, not allowed. Has to be in this school. Only from DPS. Only from DPS. Outside schools are not allowed. One last thing parents, what will happen is on the 26th, we will share two links with you all. 
One link will be for you to do your NEFT, bank transfers, etc. There's no additional fee to it. So that can be made via that. We also have the payment gateway. I think we've tied up with Reserve Pay, which will give you a credit card option if you would like. However, there will be payment gateway charges to that of approximately 2-2.5%, two, two which will have to be borne by you. And if any parents would like to avail an EMI facility, then again, that's between your card and the bank card that you hold. Even that facility will be available on the payment gateway. If you wish to avail that, you are most welcome to do so. And also, the teachers will reach out to you. And now, once we know the registered parents, you will start receiving emails from us. So, mail at the rate modernclassroom.in, that's the website, that's where you get it.